Welcome to the pre-class video on reaction coordinate diagrams and temperature effects in kinetics. Okay, so is that what we have here? It is what we have. It's the beginning of what we have here. So a reaction coordinate diagram is a really useful tool to qualitatively understand some of the concepts that are involved in kinetics and equilibrium. Okay. Right? And so in a, a reaction coordinate diagram, the y-axis is energy. High energy up top, low energy down in the bottom. Okay. Right, so where do things want to be on this diagram? Well, you want to be, you know, they're kind of lazy. They want to be as low energy as possible. They kind of just want to chill. Yeah. Lower energy is more stable, and so that's things tend toward lower energy. So for a typical chemical reaction, I could draw reactants on this diagram. It's kind of arbitrary where I drew that. But it's at high energy. Products are at low energy because for chemical reactions, usually it's going to go from high energy reactants to lower energy products. Right different energy states as levels. So here's one energy level, that's Joel sleeping on the couch or whatever, and then up here is another energy level, Joel being chased by a barbarian with an axe. Right? This x-axis is a little bit weird. Um, extent of reaction, so it's kind of like a, a conceptual thing, it's just how far along the reaction has a particular molecule gone. Right, so if we have a couple reactants, they start out here. As they start to react, eventually they end up as products. Well, what happens in the middle? They're neither reactants or products. Maybe they're kind of an intermediate. And so the question is, well, what happens to the energy in between these two points? And it turns out when molecules react, what happens to their energy? Well, first you have these molecules that are already bonded to each other. Yeah. The first thing you have to do is break apart those bonds so that you can make some new ones. Yeah, so it's all about bond breaking and, and remaking. And usually what happens, almost 99.9999% of the time, is that you end up getting higher energy in the middle. You have to go through this unstable state. Right, where you're putting in energy to get rid of those initial bonds so that they start reforming. Yeah, bonds. and so I can represent this on this diagram by drawing a hump, right? The molecules are reacting, they have to follow this path, they have to go to higher energy before they can go to the products. Right. Well, this is how much you have to pay for the reaction to actually start. Uh -huh. Once it starts, it's going to produce a lot of energy. And so sometimes reactions you have to kind of add a little bit of energy to begin to get them to go, like lighting a candle or sure spark in a, in a uh, combustion engine, mm -hmm. okay? Well, this energy is called the activation energy. And it's a symbol EA. Okay. And this is the barrier that molecules have to overcome. And so sometimes all you have to do is heat up a reaction, add energy into the reaction. Right. And so what's going to happen to the molecules that are kind of sitting there as reactants? Well, they're going to start to get a little more energetic, right? They have this heat that's getting added, yep. they go to a higher energy, and they break those bonds and start reforming new ones. Exactly. And so adding energy can get more molecules to jump over that barrier. Right, and once they go over that hump, they just go to products. Go to products, right? And so chemical reactions, if you heat them up, they tend to go faster because more molecules can get over that. If you want to slow reaction down, you cool it down, molecules aren't going to have enough energy to overcome that barrier. Right. Right, so we're going to cover two things. One are these energy diagrams, and you'll get a little practice drawing some of them, and you'll actually do that in lab as well. And then the second part is about the mathematical relationship between temperature and rates for reactions, and this thing called the Arrhenius equation, which is pretty cool. All right. See you in class.